Welcome back everyone. This is session two of setting up my new 2021-2022 Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. And today I'm going to be setting up my year at a glance. So this is my page from my old planner. And last year I chose to use these planner Kate stickers along with some checklists. And all of these are sort of bigger monthly cleaning items or things that we do quarterly around our home um, or like dentist appointments that sort of thing and so I really wanted to do this again um, for the next year so um, I did pick some different options for my stickers I wanted to show you what planner Kate has and then you could choose whichever kind of fits the aesthetic of your new planner so um, I pulled these out of my binder. They do fit in the smaller Planner Kate albums. I just pulled them out so there wouldn't be such a glare on the screen for you guys. But um, this first font comes in a black, um, dark gray, and medium gray. There might even be some other colors up. These are just the three that I have in my stash. So if you like that sort of font, you could use that one. Um, this was the Gen Plans font which is S1194. And then I'll show you this one. It was a close call. This is Planner Kate's font E, which is really scripty. It's one of my favorite fonts and it's S1193. And I thought about using that one, but I decided I would be using this one, which is S1190. And this is Planner Kate font E. B and I liked the colorful option so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this sheet okay so I have my old planner here I don't really need it yet until I transfer my tasks um, but I am gonna start and go ahead and put on my stickers and I think this year I'm going to center them last year I left aligned them but again personal preference so we'll go ahead and put those down. You can see how they fit. Um, I don't have the other planners to show you, but this is the Just My Type vertical planner and the colorful um, layout, even though the only thing that's really colorful is the tabs. So the thing that some people have asked about are the colors. The colors on this particular planner are different. And these stickers are the traditional Erin Condren colorway. Um, that doesn't really bother me, so I'm going to use these anyway. If it did, um, I could see people using this option, but like a black and white sticker instead of the colorful. And I was watching Julie, Julie over at Julie's Plans, and she puts her stickers down with her left hand and she is right-handed and I just thought that was interesting so then you know the next time I'm sitting down here to put my stickers on I'm like paying attention to what I'm doing am I doing it left-handed or right-handed you could let me know in the comments because I'm kind of intrigued on who does what all right so I have all my stickers down and now it's time to start transferring um, those tasks over Okay, so there is our sort of family plan. Um, my husband helps me on some of these things like sealing the driveway and cleaning out the gutters, that sort of thing. But this has been very helpful for me. It's one of those functional things that I like having in my planner. Um, I've seen a lot of different uses of this overview. Some people use it for fitness. Some people use it for a scripture of the month. Um, some people do a memory with a picture. Lots of great ideas. Um, this is just how I've been choosing to use mine, so I hope that helps someone. 
If you guys have any questions about anything on the list, let me know and I'd be happy to answer.